the premise of Crew is it was based on a painting by um, a guy named Marcel Zama and hit, it's a skeleton and a devil rowing a family across a river and then the assignment was to write something from it. So this is a little piece of the middle from the devil's point of view, talking about his friend, the skeleton. She's a good person, old Skelly. That time when while rowing I had a panic attack and thinking about my past and my inability to hold on to things. A job, a woman, a friend from the olden days, even my siblings who I have not heard from in years. We all grew up in the same one room cabin and sometimes that will drive you away from each other for the rest of your lives. I was crying to myself about it all as we were rowing to pick up another family and take them through their family crisis. And Skelly said, you're a shepherd in your job. You have me as a friend. You will find a companion one of these days and your cabin has three rooms now and only one person in them. And she looked at me hard from those big deep eye sockets. Stop being such an idiot devil, she said. And it relaxed me inside what she said. I even wrote a little faster than usual. It's not often that a devil is called a shepherd. And then the day they gave us the uniforms, that was funny. We'd been proper naked and us because usually a devil doesn't wear much of clothing. And I do like to have all my business out there in the open to tell you the honest truth. I like to check on my business when I can just to make sure it's there. And Skelly could care less. She's just bones and then bones. But they sent us a package. We've never actually seen the employers because they sent us stuff from way over in Texas. But it was a package with first class stamped all over it. And in it were these two very good fitting blue gray uniforms with collars. Smart, aren't they? I personally do not enjoy the wearing of clothes, but Skelly looked so sharp and I wasn't about to be the bum of the duo, the one who couldn't summon up the wherewithal to put on clothing like some professional rower should. And I think it does look good on me and interacts with my tone and cheekbones. And it did change how the families viewed us, like the officiality of it all became clearer. The families, of course, wear no clothes. They need to be birthed like babes on the other side. It's in the contract. But Skelly liked the uniform so much, she wrote a letter to the employer saying hers had fallen into the river of fire by accident and she needed a replacement and she got one, which she used to wear on the weekends. I was surprised she had lied, being that she is usually highly truthful, but she also has a mind for herself that way in a good way and knew that having two uniforms would improve her quality of life and therefore also improve her performance in the boat. Me, on weekends I am naked as I like and I go to the devil bars and I try to improve my scooping up skills. I like the devil ladies a lot, so I think I come on too strong. I like the devil men too. I like them all. I'm working on restraint. That is Skelly's lesson for a devil like me. Restraint. That's what a down to business skeleton can teach a devil man. I am helpful to her in terms of desires. She's a little vague on those, a little lackluster. But for me, she's always telling me to hold on to my horses and I listen the best I can instead of always jumping and jumping. I am trying Skelly. We were paired up together for a reason. So restraint and hunger, rowing a boat together, that's us. I said at the top that it was boring, but that's not really true. If anything in my life has made sense to me, it's this. On certain days when the people are scarcer than usual, Skelly and I have a trick that we do. I can get liquidy, especially if I throw myself into the fire, I can get all liquidy, like fire itself, just with the body shape. It's a special devil skill, all devils have it. Anyway, once I did that, threw myself into the fire for a little swim, and in my liquid form, I crawled back on the boat and climbed inside Skelly's bones. We rode amazing that day. It was an amazing day. I would do it more often, except the employer has designated that the boat needs two for liability reasons. But it was incredible. I felt like there was some kind of house around me holding me. It was like love, I guess. And Skelly refers to it too in her understated way. She tells me to do it again, but just not too often. She's worried her bones will fry, even though I try to explain to her that that is ridiculous, that the laws of physics do not apply in this landscape, that it's love happening here in this river of fire, crazy canoe. The families are a side dish. They go off to do their thing, families upon families, birth like babes upon the shore. But we will row this back and forth for a long, long time.